Oh, hello, buddy. This is RJ Epic here, and welcome to my all new Comic Con number 135. As you can see, I have quite the haul ahead of me here. Uh, this is a bit of a build up here. It's, we've just a, it's a few weeks. Um, I, I'm actually, I really am in the middle of uh, cutting back some stuff. I uh, cut some stuff back from the latest order uh, for December, and I'm uh, hopefully going to find some stuff from November's order that I can cut back too that I was planning to get. Uh, I still have to go through the book again, see if I can cut any of that. But yeah, um, I have a lot of great stuff in this haul. Um, uh, yeah, I mean... Just a lot of great stuff. I've been trying to read quite a lot recently, and I've been successful a lot of the time, but then sometimes I've been really unsuccessful. Uh, some of the stuff I've been reading recently, like there's been a lot actually that I've read recently, so I'm not going to be able to go through it all, but I will say I've started to finally reading the, the Superman and Action Comics again, and actually uh, just between yesterday and today, uh, the last issues I've read of both titles are Superman and One Fa Action Comics, is issue 6 and 1006 respectively, so I finished the first arcs off, and I'm hoping to continue, to continue my momentum on those because I want to get to the Leviathan stuff and Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane and everything. And I have started reading some of the War of the Realms stuff again. Uh, the last one I read there was Journey into Mystery number two. Um, before that was the first of the Strike Force one shots, the Dark Elf Realm. So I've started May. I've gotten through a few of the May releases now. Um, next thing is starting New Agents of Atlas for that. Um, I've started reading X-23 again, I've read issues 2 and 3 of that now, and I've started reading X-Men Red again, I've read issues 4 in the annual, um, I finished off Shane High Red just last night, um, which was nice, so that five issue miniseries from Image is done, um, I just read, I'm caught up besides the issue you'll see in this haul on Captain America, so I've read up to issue 14 now, and issue 15, a little spoiler alert, you will see later on in this haul, so, um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get right into it now, uh, we're gonna jump right in, uh, in the first stack, I got some Archie, some Boom, some Titan, and some Dark Horse, and this stack is all Image, this stack is all DC, and these last two stacks are all Marvel. This is the most DC I've had in, since the well, the last haul was, but like in a regular haul, see me in a, see me in a regular haul. Most DC I've had in one haul in a long time. Anyway, we're gonna jump right in, and we're gonna talk about what I got. Uh, probably won't take that long to go through all these. I'll probably be as quick as I can because I wanna uh, sort through these and. And I get back to stuff I uh, have to do tonight. Um, so, first off, I got Archie and Sabrina issue. I mean, I got Archie issue number 708, which is Archie and Sabrina part 4 or 5. Covers A, B, C, and the special cover D for this issue, which is a pet variant. From Boom, I got Something is Killing the Children number 2. And Smackdown 20th Anniversary WWE one shot. Uh, I can read the Smackdown one shot right away, and I can actually read the Archie issue right away because I'm caught up on Archie, and so I'll probably be reading that Archie issue soon. A series I have to catch up on a little bit is actually Life is Strange. This is actually a wraparound cover, but I don't have the time to really show you guys, so yeah. Um, but I got Life is Strange number 9 from Titan, covers A, B, C, and special cover D, spoiler variants. Actually, this one wasn't a spoiler variant, I don't think, but yeah. And then from Dark Horse, I got a couple fans. I got Every Fan issue number two, and Ruby Falls issue number one of four. I'm glad this is a mini series, but it looks kind of cool, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, I Like I said, I'm, I'm planning to cut back on a ton of stuff. I have a ton of stuff ending over the next couple months. Um, and as of January, I'm hoping to be cut back a lot on my comics. Um, that's part of the reason I'm trying to catch up too, so I can see if there's anything I really think I should probably just drop. So, yeah. I got some stuff. Uh, for my stuff from Image. Sorry, I just remembered something I forgot to do. For my stuff from Image, I got Man Eaters number 12, the last issue. 
Thumbs number five, the last issue there. I'm I have been debating whether I'm actually gonna review Thumbs or not. I haven't started it yet. I feel like this title will be better if I binge read it, so we'll see. Um, I may make an exception to binge read that. And I I don't know, I might even binge read Man Eaters eventually. We'll see. Got Reaver issue number four. I haven't started that title yet. I haven't started this one either. Coffin Bound issue number three, I think it is. Is it three? Where is the issue? Yep, it's three. Coffin Bound looks really good. I can't wait to read. Speaking of looks really good, Sea of Stars issue number four. I haven't started that one yet either. The Die issue number eight covers A and B. Uh, I've read up to ish. I've read finished the first arc, but I haven't um, haven't read six or seven yet. But I'll hopefully be getting on that soon. Um, I got excellence issue number six. I match you up the date on this title so I can read this one right away, which is nice. Hopefully, I'll get to reading it soon. Covers A and the lovely cover B. I'm actually really enjoying this title. If you haven't uh, looked into this title, you might want to give it a shot. This is a this is uh, one of the silent. Uh, gems right now for especially from image gideon falls issue number 17 i covers a and b i've still only read the first arc so the first six issues got to get back into it soon a title i have gotten back into recently i've read the two issues and the last week or so i read um issues seven and eight uh actually in the same night uh, and refute those. I got Oblivion Song issue number 20. Uh, I forgot how good this title actually was, so I'm excited to get back into reading this even more. Second arc's going really well so far. Got Sonata issue number 5, covers A and B. I've forgotten. I forgot. I had forgotten that. Uh, well, I haven't forgotten. I j haven't gotten a cover B of number 4 yet. They, I just haven't. My shop apparently got shorts and got shorted on them. Uh, and we got two new number ones from Image now to end their stack off. I got the Mark issue number one, cover A and B, which is a nice wraparound, but I just don't have time to show every wraparound that I get. Uh, but check it out if you can. Uh, the second title, second new title from Shadowline recently after Sonata, which is why I put the two next to each other. And there's one coming in December called Lucy Claire. Uh, something redemption i forget now actually but i'm gonna be picking that up too and last but not least i got the wonderful looking gnomon omen number one of 15 uh i got so this is gonna go for a little while um got cover a b and c so yeah i hope this one doesn't go on any hiatuses because 15 is already quite the like th number to commit to and if it goes on hiatus for even just a month it's gonna really draw it out it's gonna go for a year and a half, and that's gonna be interesting. Uh, Ru uh, we're gonna go into the DC stack now. I got Ruby number one of seven, Rooster Teeth property. I got the regular cover and the variants. Uh, excited to read this. I actually have to get caught up on my watching of Ruby because I've only watched the first season and the first episode of season two, so it's kind of ridiculous. But I, I and I've got. Uh, I got the one-shot manga, then the volume one of four of the manga afterwards. I got to get the other three. Uh, I just have a lot of Ruby stuff to get through. <laughs> one of these days, I will. I caught up on Deceased. With, of course I did. I, I caught up on Deceased with issue five. Regular cover, Matina variant, and movie for, horror movie variant. Um, I'm, I've read issue four, but I have to read the one-shot still, which might happen tonight. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to stay caught up on Deceased. Uh, it would be nice if I can read the one shot and read and refill the one shot and then issue 5 before issue 6 comes out so I can read issue 6 right away. And I've gotten the Green Lantern issue number 12, the last of this run for now. It's going into a free issue miniseries after this. Uh, I got the regular and variant. Uh, we'll see if it comes back to issue 13 afterwards or how they go about it or if uh, Grant Morrison's Green Lantern run will end. I don't know. We'll see. Got Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy issue number two, regular, and the uh, connecting Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy variants. These ones don't, I don't, these connecting covers so far, these covers that are supposed to connect, don't really connect that well, but whatever. I don't know anymore. Um, I think they're Archer variants, or are they, I don't know, I, or the last one's Archer. No, that one was uh, Warren Lau, I think, those ones. I got Batman and the Outsiders issue number six, regular and variants. 
Uh, this is the second last issue I'm getting the variant on. I've decided as of September where I'm trying to cut back, I will not be getting the issue, the issue 8 variant and moving forward I won't get the variants because I don't like the issue 8 variants and I need to cut back and yeah, so I, I like the issue 6 and 7 variants quite a bit, but uh, when, when it gets to 8, I, uh, I just, yeah, I decided it's about that time because they gave me another Kevin Nolan variant and I don't like the Ke Kevin Nolan's art, so... But I imagine they'll probably go back to good variants again and I'll regret it, but whatever. Um, got Detective Comics number 1013. I actually read an issue of Detective Comics recently. It was 1009, I believe. Yeah, it was 1009. Uh, so I've got a little catching up to do, but not much. Uh, but I got the regular cover and the variant. And moving on to the into the Superman related titles, I got Lois Lane issue number four, regular and variant. Event the five in issue five, regular and variant. I love this regular, by the way. Can't wait to start reading this stuff. Got Superman himself issue sixteen. Got J Jimmy Olsen issue number four, regular and variant. And I also got. Legion Superheroes Millennium Part 2 of 2, number 2 of 2, regular and fair, connect and variant. Moving on to the Justice League titles, I got Justice League Odyssey, the only Justice League title I'm still getting two covers of, which still hasn't changed as of December, because while I need to cut back, I don't really want to cut back on the beautiful uh, Lucio Perillo covers, but as soon as Lucio Perillo stops doing uh, their wonderful variants, then I will probably drop the variants, but Lucio Perillo's art is too good, so, but I got 14 regular variant. The theme of the month for DC was, for the variants, was also deceased variants, so, yeah. I got Justice League issues number 33 and 34. Last issue of Justice League I read would have been number 28. I started catching up a bit on it. I got to continue doing so. And last but not least, from DC, I got the Joker Year, the film one shot, co-written by John Carpenter. So, a lot of hype was around this one, so hopefully it's good. Uh, moving on now, I got a couple Marvel stacks, a couple big Marvel stacks. And I got some big stuff in here. Uh, the first of the Future Fight uh, percents, first three Future Fight percents one shots for the month. I got White Fox one shot regular, and um, um, regular and the variant by um, oh I forgot her name, but she does monstrous. Um, yeah, sorry I forgot her name. I normally I have it on hand, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm getting all three of them. Of course, and all covers. Um, got Swordmaster issue number four, regular and Mary Jane variant. And then I got Arrow number four, regular and Mary Jane variant. Then I got Old Man Quill number 10 of 12. This series is almost done, thankfully. I'm gonna end this December. It's one of the many things ending in December. Got Doctor Strange number 20. This title's done, although we're getting an annual and then it's relaunching. We're getting an annual next month, then relaunch in December, so I'm, it turns out I guess I'm not going to give up on Doctor Strange yet, I really wanted to, but Mark Waid's continuing, so I'm not going to jump out in the middle of somebody's run unless I'm really not enjoying it, so I really got to catch up on this title to see if I am enjoying it, but the concept of the new title sounds really good, and flipping through uh, the last issue in this one, it looks like it's actually been really good recently, so I can't wait to catch up. Got the regular cover and the Immortal variants. Loki issue number four. Regular and beautiful Jen Bartell, Mary Jane variant. Captain Marvel issue 10, second print with star on the cover. New character. Issue 11 of Captain Marvel, regular Mary Jane variant. Ending off the uh, second arc. Magnificent Miss Marvel issue number 8. Captain America issue number 15. I didn't get the Mary Jane variant for this one because I, like, I was trying to cut back some so it's a it's a nice adam hughes cover but i just i have not another adam hughes variant for captain america and i just i just decided i'd cut back a bit so yeah last issue of this punisher run with number 16 can't wait to read this and see how it's been i uh, last issue i read was number 11 to finish off the second arc so yeah got the regular and the mary jane variant so i just have the last arc to read plus that acts of evil annual um but yeah Got Daredevil issue number 12, regular and Mary Jane variants. Daredevil's been a great series. The last issue I read of that was 7. Trying to catch up on that too. Immortal Hulk, director's cut number 5. Immortal Hulk number 24. 
Got Web of Black Widow, number two of five. Regular and Mary Jane variants. Lovely stuff. Can't wait to catch up on Black Widow stuff. Marvel Comics 1001. Regular and wraparound. Uh, another wraparound. So many wraparounds recently. It's ridiculous. And wraparound um, Patrick Gleason variant. And now we're getting into some number ones and then and then some Fantastic Four territory here. Got Ghost Rider, number one. Got the regular. Um, hopefully it's good. Cuter variants. Kind of hell variants and the Raza teaser variant. I think that might be a wraparound too. I don't know. Uh, Fantastic Four number fifteen regular and the Mary Jane variant. Fantastic Four has been great. Uh, last one I read was number nine because I got to read number ten, but it's War Realms time. Just got Campbell variant by the way for the Mary Jane one. Got Future Foundation number three regular and I actually didn't even ask them for the Mary Jane variant, but they put it in and I saw it and I was gonna get it originally, so I'm like I'll get it I guess. I didn't get the Captain America. I guess I kind of traded it for the Future Foundation one. Can't wait to read Future Foundation, but I gotta catch up a bit before I can. And last but not least for this stack, I got Doctor Doom issue number one, uh, writer of She Could Fly and everything from Dark Horse, Burger Books, whatever, uh, and Salvador Loraca, great creative team, regular, and Mary Jane Farron. Can't wait to read this. Uh, I've heard good things about it. It should be brilliant. God, I don't have much longer to go, so I'm going to probably speed things up a, get, a bit. Get into some Spider-Man stuff, then Absolute Carnage, and then I don't know why I forget the last part of this haul, but it's a big deal. I got Black Cat issue for number 5, regular, J. Scott Campbell regular, and Black Cat variant, I mean Mary Jane variant. Got Spider-Man number 2 5, Miles Morales issue number 11, um, regular, and variant. Then I get Spider First number one of six, regular and Arthur Adams, eight part connecting variant. This eight part connecting cover that I, I probably just shouldn't have signed up for has gotten me committed to titles I don't even, I probably wouldn't even have committed to and really needed to read if I wasn't getting the this nice connecting cover set. But yeah, it's committed me to Spider Man, Venom, Double Trouble, and Spider Ham. And I probably don't necessarily need to read either. Actually, I kind of. I'm kind of excited for Spider Ham. I'm just not excited for the Phantom and Spider Man title because it's supposed to be a like com comedic one and a teen title. And it's just probably there's a chance it might not be that uh, great. Moving on to the absolute current stuff, I got the Immortal Hulk one shot for it. Got Amazing Spider Man 31 regular and Mary Jane variants. Got Miles Morales number three of three regular and connecting. Absolute Carnage for itself regular and Young Guns variants. Avengers one shot. Versus Deadpool 3 of 3. I'm glad all this stuff is finishing off now. Uh, this is what I meant about Titus so finishing off a lot, but yeah. Uh, regular and Connect. No, no, just regular. I forgot I didn't get Connect on the title. And Scream 3 of 3. Regular and Connect. And although Scream's getting her own ongoing now after this offense, so yeah. As of next month. Uh, oh yeah, the X Men stuff's what finishes off. Duh. I got House of X issue number six of six regular and connecting. I was gonna get more covers, but then I decided not to because just I'm, I cut back. I cut back on the foreshadow variants, and I just need to cut back. Um, Powers of X issue number six of six regular connecting and new character variants. And then last but not least for this haul, I got X Men number one, the book of last week. Uh, I got the regular cover. The Marco Chicchetto Young Guns variant, the first of the Every Meet Never Bagley variants, the the ugly one in ten. Just I only got it because it was cover price at my shop because they didn't like them and we, they got enough copies and stuff. And then I got the Art Germ variant, the lovely Jean Grey Art Germ variant. Anyway, guys, uh, this is going to be a bit of a sudden end, but I only got a few minutes left. I'm able to record it anyway. I'm trying to get this done. So if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to end it now. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and even share if you like to. And anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video, and peace out. Bye. I've got some reading to do.